What's going on guys, Lomax here, and welcome back to another episode of our Roll and Let's Play. In the last episode, we finished the Claptrap DLC, and now we're back in Firestone, ready to take on the main story. So, at this point, we are super overleveled. Plus, we got a bunch of really decent and good weapons. We have this Atlas Combat Rifle, which, with Metal Storm, has an insane fire rate. I mean, everything, you know, he's gonna die one shot because we're pretty overleveled, but we got this, we got the Blastinger. Ooh, the gore. Bodies just disappearing. This place has a completely different feel to anything you have come to at this point in the game. Like, excluding DLC, you know? It's like this. You're in Pandora, which is pretty wide open, and then you come to this place, which is like just this close quarters combat warehouse. Everything's really tight. You know, you got enemies right next to you at, like, all times. Rather than 500 feet away. So we're gonna get a, the, the first SQ in the base game. There's one more we could have done already. Which we'll go back for, but this will be the first one of the base game. And we gotta get all of them. We get every SQ in the game, we'll have 72 backpack slots. So you can actually... Pick up the quest from this side. Uh, you, you used to be able to. There you go. And I'm assuming you can turn it in from this side too. There we go. This one's always going to be an SDU. In playthrough two, though, you're going to have like a I guess I don't know if it's like a 10% chance for an SDU. But you want to be in read-only farming when you do that one. Whoa. Health is pretty low. Oh, you got a rocket launcher. Ugh. All right, there's a couple more chests down here, so there's one behind this counter. We're probably not going to get anything new at this point. Everything's going to be, like, level... That's at level 9, so... So, yeah. <laughs> and I imagine this is what farming was like before the Nox DLC came out, and the Clapcraft DLC. You know, you just went around maps farming chests. Because that's really the only place to get loot in the vanilla game. A level 13 revolver, a level 10... Repeater. What level is this care? 16, 13, 15? It's kind of all over the place. Uh, it will be fine. Alright, so we can go turn this in. Be now that we're back here, we, we can just go back to... Oh, we can't. What we can do, though, it's a little trick. So you can go to somewhere you've already been, so you don't have to watch a cutscene. So we can go to Jacob's Cove. So we'll be here. Now Firestone opens up, because you have to get to the, the base game somehow, right? The only problem with this is you can only travel to Firestone, so. Doesn't help you out if you need to go somewhere else. But, you know, for what we're doing right now, it helps. Because we need to go somewhere in the Iron Badlands. Oh, one thing before we go there, actually. Let's go Let's go into the Lost Cave right here. There's another backpack as to you that I don't want to forget about. We're going to meet crab worms for the first time. So these are actually a really good farm normally, but again, we're, we're super overleveled. We're just going to beeline to this clap trap. So you can probably get up here with a grenade jump. We're just going to take the long way around. Grab that. And we'll go turn it in. Alright, another SDU down. So now... Now we can go turn this in. Gotta get a car, though. You're about to face a real challenge in Sledge. Do Ma. not underestimate me. Level 17, we'll be fine. But maybe that's me underestimating him. So you can actually do a couple things to skip a lot of this. I don't know if you can do them in the remaster, actually. I know you could in the base game, though. The original game, I mean. I'm not sure if they patched them in this, but we're just gonna we're just gonna run around the normal way. We also don't have an explosive longbow, which would significantly help out the, the grenade jumping that we're going to need to do, but we'll be okay. We'll be okay going this way. Pretty much two-shotting everything, so, I mean, we'll be okay. Wow, we got more than one XP for something. Can pop up in this chest. There's a lot of chests just everywhere in this game. And it's great. I think it's just much more rewarding than, than Borderlands 2 is. Time to go meet Sledge. Don't let him touch you. Ah, oh, don't worry. He won't touch me, Angel. Too hard. 
Normally he hurts if you are like on level or under level, but yeah, we're we're rolling, so we're a level twenty two rolling versus a level what was it, nineteen sledge? Alright, got the artifact. Alright, so we're gonna go turn this in. I think it's Zed. It's a safe bet. Half the you turn in like half the stuff to Zed, so we'll just come here, we'll go back to Firestone, save some time. Nice and easy. Support gunner, so we get ammo regen, which will be nice. Stockpile, we don't have. So we're just gonna move on. We're gonna we're gonna end up going to the Doll Headlands, which is the, like the next big area. You're not so Firestone. You're in for a really long time. Like you spend half of the almost half the game in Firestone. Like you're you're low twenties by the time you leave Firestone, and then by the end of the first playthrough, you're expected to be at least thirty. So you know you're in, you're in this for a long time. But we also did DLC too, so there were, there were a lot more side quests we could have done that would have helped us level. But we, we would have been somewhere around like high teens, low twenties. In the Doll Headlands, you're in for like three levels, <laughs> not very long. Like there's so much you don't do when you don't do the side quests. Like the whole area to our left is so an area you explore the vault is real, eh? through side quests. Yeah, Everyone it's a lot you just don't do. It, huh? Come on, Claptrap, open this thing. I think it would have been kind of cool to revisit more of these places in Borderlands 2. You only really get Firestone, but that's about it. We're going to pick up Big Game Hunter, too. We can actually do that. Um, I can't I can't exit. Okay, that was weird. <laughs> I couldn't hit escape. It wouldn't let me. So let's go do... We'll go kill Skagzilla. Skagzilla actually, in this... In the remaster, drops a lot of loot. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Give me that. Uh, this car's seen better days. Right, we gotta get out before we blow up. If you've never seen Skagzilla and you're familiar with Dukina's mom, this was Dukina's mom before Dukina's mom. And he's at level 20. I thought he'd be higher, to be honest. I don't know how much XP we're gonna get from this. Yeah, Skagzilla, you can either just, like, pound away, or you just wait till he opens his mouth. But again, we're pretty overleveled, so we can we can do a decent amount of damage. Even without the open mouth. There we go. That's got a really good fire rate. That's a really, really good gun. I have to take this. Like this fire rate is is already really good without Metal Storm, but as soon as we get Metal Storm popping, we're gonna destroy everything. I might take that too. Look at all these guns. We got another level, so we're gonna throw another point into Overload for very, very, very big mag size. And now we can go do the uh, the main story. Made even easier by this this amazing blast rifle, or whatever it's called. I don't know what it's called, but this thing. I mean, we're over leveled anyway, so you know. Look at that fire rate, though. It's actually quite disgusting. I was really hoping we'd get a. Good com or a uh, good assault rifle, because we can just build our proficiency. And we got this guy, no trouble at all. And here's Lucky just sitting on the toilet. I don't know why there are two toilets right next to each other. That's kind of weird. But there are, and he's on one of them. All right, well let's go power up the fast travel now. Oh, first one's right here. <laughs> Almost went right by it. Hello? There we go, there's one. It's kind of a bummer that you have to wait until this point in the game, though, to get fast travel enabled. Because it's pretty... It's far in, you're like a third of the way into the game. And there are no enemies here, what is this? There's usually, like, a bunch of people here, this is kind of weird. I guess they decided to come to work late. Also, if you didn't know, this is Lucky Zafford. They developed a, uh, a whole quest line around the rivalry between Scooter and Lucky. So we gotta kill some bandit patrols. Oh, come on. Don't do this to me. The problem with cars, too... There's, there's a couple. They're like... They, they go down pretty easily. And then the health regen is, like, insanely slow. 
Wow, I didn't realize I could flip cars. Alright, maybe this guy won't move and I can just shoot him twice easy. Ah, oh, I moved. The handling on the cars also is atrocious. I think it's amazing that when a car can flip over in a psycho that's hanging off the edge by like an arm and a leg, it can somehow stay on. That's impressive. That's truly impressive. Alright, well, now we gotta go kill Mad Mel. This part's fun. We're at a pretty decent level for it, though, so it, it, I don't think it'll be too bad. I hope. Famous last words. Uh, we, we kill these things pretty quickly. Should be another Outrider somewhere. Probably on the other side. The problem is, you, you like, if, you, if you're not careful, you just get one-shot by these things, so... And they're so fast that, you know... They can easily just sneak up on you and not, not necessarily sneak up on you, but just like close the gap and you die, so. Yeah, yeah Mad Mel's no really loud. It really hurts quite a bit. I have no idea if you can be one shot by them or not. I don't know if this is going to do anything. But you can see we've done a fair bit of damage to him. I, I, I can't see him anymore. Alright, our car's gone. We're pretty much just trying not to get run over at this point because satellites are kill us. He's almost dead, though. I, I went over that that badass psycho. That was actually pretty cool. Is there a claptrap here? Oh, yeah, there is. Always a claptrap. All right. So we're in New Haven now. Sanctuary before Sanctuary. Well, there is a sanctuary in this game. You just never actually visit it, but they reference it. Another claptrap here. And then we're also going to... I think we got to talk to Helena Pierce. And restore some power. Alright, now we have uh, our fourth weapon slot, and we'll throw... Let's throw that... Where's that shock revolver right there? Throw that in there. So we gotta turn all these power stations on. So there's a... There's one over here. And then there's also this backpack... Or uh, the, um... Clapdrap kit, or whatever it is. The repair kit, that's what it is. That's what I'm trying to say. Repair kit. So we'll go turn this into Clapdrap. Get another SCU. He'll give us a chest, and then we gotta just restore the rest of the power stations. So we're gonna have another three slots, 27. He gives you this chest, but you can actually just open it from here. It's kinda silly. Alright, more power over here. Power there. That scooter right there. Hey, scooter. And then there's one over here. And then the last one is way out here. I don't know why it's way out here, but it is. All right, we'll turn that in later. We actually got to go get another SDU. There's a lot in like a short amount of time. In This one's in the Tetanus Warrens. You don't need any quests or anything to get in here. You can just go right in. There is a quest in here, but we're not going to do it. Not now, anyway. Oh, that's a nice shield. Throw that on. I kind of think that's her. It's not doing anything because nothing's on the right side of it. Everything's on the other behind it. So this has to you. I'm pretty sure you can just jump up here. There's a lot of guys here, though, so it's kind of tricky to do. We'll just mow them down first. Oh, this is a badass. No wonder he's so tanky. Yeah, you can still get it. Oh, you can even... Wow, you can jump up there. I didn't even know that. Normally, I just jump towards it. Pick it up. A repair kit found. We'll go turn it in. We'll get another SDU. For 30 total slots. Alright, so we gotta turn this into Pierce. And then from there, we can move on. Leave New Haven. Almost as soon as we got Watch here. So we have to go meet Tannis and show her the artifact that we found. She's quite far away. She's in this area, but pretty far away. Look at all that sludge. I think that's what this is. It does, I don't think it's water. I mean, it, it's probably water. It's like sludgy water. Gross stuff. Oh, you know what I want to do first? I like how we just got out of the car and went into a rock, but that's... <laughs> that's not what I was going to say. Um, we got to get this fast travel over here. And then we'll go talk to Tannis. Can you get stuns? Get stuns, sir. What? This fire rate is gross. I want to throw up. That's so so disgusting. 
And you can just fire forever because your magazine is massive. And the other thing is, too, like, we, we can, I think we can, we can increase our assault rifle or combat rifle mag size even further. Uh, Rack actually sound, sound kind of peaceful when they're not attacking you. Oh, wow, I didn't realize we were that close to leveling up. Alright, 60% mag size, that's, that's absurd. We're gonna go meet Crazy Earl now. Uh, we gotta, it's gonna take a bit of time to get there. Crazy Earl's on the other side of this area, pretty much. So we're gonna grab this fast travel, and then we will go talk to, we'll go meet Crazy Earl. Hopefully I don't die on the way here. And here's Earl. It's pretty simple, all we gotta do is kill some spider ants. Put you right here. And a bunch of bandits. And there's an STU over here. So, like I said, there's a lot of STUs within a short time. Uh, there must have been a barrel there, because... I don't think I should have gone down. <laughs> I don't think it was very fair. Thank you, barrel. Did I get both of them? Wow. That radius is nuts. All right, another clamp trap. This has to use actually really simple. I mean, in theory, you're supposed to run all the way around, but you can just jump on this fridge here, jump up here. Did they block this off? Ah, it doesn't matter. They might have. They might have. I think they. I don't think this was supposed to be here, but they didn't do a very good job <laughs> of blocking it off. But it doesn't matter. We still need to kill more bandits anyway, so we got to be up here for a minute or two. Wow. I take offense. Throw a turn out, get some healing. Hopefully, because our health's running low. Oh, this guy's got a rocket launcher. That guy had a rocket launcher. Now he's dead. Alright, well, we're going to turn this in. And another STU. So, I mean, we're almost... We got 33 slots. And we still have a bunch more STUs to get. Compared to Borderlands 2, I'm pretty sure the capacity is 39, so, you know, we're two SCUs away from that, and there's more than two SCUs in playthrough 1, so... How many do we have? We got, I think... 1, 2, 3, 4, maybe? I think we got 4 so far, plus 2 in DLCs. Alright, well, Crazy Girl's mission is done. We're gonna go turn this in. Now we gotta do, uh, this Treacherous Landing quest. We gotta get some some booze for Crazy Earl. But at this point, we're pretty much running with the story for uh, for the foreseeable future. Until, until we beat it, pretty much. Alright guys, that's gonna wrap this episode up. In the next one, we're gonna go get Crazy Earl's booze, and then we're gonna continue with the story. Thanks for watching, guys.